Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Painting 101, a series of videos where I teach you all about painting miniatures from start to finish and everything in between, including some interesting requests I got for this video, Turtle Shells. So this is part 142, how to paint quick turtle shells. Um, how to paint, you know, roughly like shiny wet ones, I was told, and uh, I would gladly oblige any of my subscribers. So I start off by priming the entire model black, and this is a Reaper miniature, and we're going to take some stone gray, so mid-tone gray, similar to a Ministratum gray. And we're going to do some dry brushing. And the key is for this step is to do some light dry brushing around the miniature to build, build up two things. A, a gradient of color, and B, texture, which we'll later take advantage of with a ghost tint. And this is a very easy process. I was asked to do it in just a quick and effective way. So this is the easiest way I could come up with. So start off, as I said, by priming the model black, which will, which will establish some deep shadowing. And then I'm just going to go around the miniature with a pretty large dry brush and dry brush, the, as you can see, just dry brush, picking up on the raised details and building up some texture. There's a bit of texture to this model to begin with, but you can clearly see it's, it's starting to develop on the shell. But uh, this is like a dragon tortoise model from uh, Reaper Miniatures, really cool. So as you can see, I'm just going around it, building up some gray color and um, breaking up the black. And then I'm going to repeat this process one more time with a lighter gray. You can, you can go up to a white if you wish, but I, I like the turtle shells to be slightly darker. So I'll just go with two grays and a black. So then next I went with Weathered Stone, which is the lightest gray in the stone triad from Reaper. And once again, took a light dry brush. And this time I'm going to focus more on the raised, uh, on, on the higher up spikes and just the very uh, outer edges of the shell. Once again, trying to build up a gradient color and a bit of texture which we'll take advantage of with the ghost tints. And this is kind of a fun thing that you can do with a ghost tint. It's actually a product from Minotaur for airbrushing, but I'd love to use it with a hand brush to do establish some cool effects like what we're gonna do today. So as you can see, you're just going around, building up a bit of gray around this. Now it's, 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 it's a, it has a lot of texture to it. And after that, as you can see now, there's a, a, a good amount of, of gradient. This is just dark, black in the shadows, and now we're gonna take advantage of that with the ghost tint. As I said, it's a it's a candy coat from the, the Minotaur range. Now, if you don't like it so shiny, I like this, it kind of reminds me of Ninja Turtles, the, t the movie. Um, so I'm just gonna take a very light coat of this with my hand brush and apply it to the, uh, the shell. And as you can see, it takes advantage of all those previous layers that we just did, and it will tint them equally and build up a cool gradient of colors. Plus, it's pretty, it's very shiny, has a very gloss finish. If you don't like it, you can then hit it with a, maybe a satin varnish if you want it to be more dull. But uh, the specific request was, was a quick way to, to do some shiny green turtle shells, and this was kind of a fun way that I, it's a very quick effect. As you can see, you can definitely batch paint with these if you're painting a bunch of little turtles miniatures because uh, you just dry brush each one and then hit them all with this. Now the key is just give it plenty of time to dry afterwards. Ghost tints do take a little bit of time to dry. But as you see, I'm, I'm just taking a nice, uh, a nice subtle coat over it. They do dry significantly darker. So just to go one light coat at a time. But as you see, it really does take advantage of these coats. It tints them equally and and now we've got a nice shiny green turtle shell. When it dries, it'll be slightly darker. So I'm just gonna go around it with a brush. And it's fun. I love to take airbrush paints or something designed for one purpose and apply it towards a different purpose. And you can kind of use these, these cross ideas to, uh, to have some cool effects. As you can see, I'm almost done. Just take my time. And this, is done, this entire tutorial was done in real time, so as you can see, it would actually be quite easy for batch painting if you want to do a bunch of turtle shells at the same time, which is actually was requested for me from a subscriber. So, And I would gladly oblige. Any idea that comes forth, I would gladly try and show people how I would do it. And that's it. So here's what the model looks like when it's completely done. I give it plenty of time to dry. And as you can see, it actually looks like a quasi-realistic turtle shell. It has a bit of shine to it to resemble wetness, the, like the wet, slippery turtle shells, but um, it wasn't too hard to accomplish. As you can see now, it has a bit of gradient of color, it has a realistic tone, and it was very easy. Prime black, hit it with a couple of gray dry brushings, and then go over it with a ghost tint from Minotaur, the green. And you can use, you use the same thing with blues and bluish greens, if you want to establish, you know, a slightly more bluish tone to the shell, but uh, it's pretty easy to accomplish. And that's it. 
So as always, thank you so much for watching this episode of Miniature Painting 101. I really hope you enjoyed a quick and easy turtle shell effect. Stay tuned for next week's episode, part 143. Leave comments in the comment section down below for what you want to see in future videos. And I'll do my best to make sure every suggestion happens. So thank you as always, and thanks on this Jay saying, happy painting everyone.